Welcome to Shining Waters Marina in uh, Nova Scotia, Canada, where in front of you, you are looking at Aleutia, a 2014 Boreal 47. Boreal 47s are aluminum hulled, aluminum decked, very robust, long distance blue water cruisers with a center board on them. And when the board is up, she draws only a meter and a bit, which allows you to tuck into lots of different coves, gives you many, many options for getting yourself out of weather as you travel the world. Here you can see the anti-fouling, which is going to be redone at uh, a later date before the boat gets splashed this spring. Uh, standing rigging, mast, boom, all very, very robust. You have uh, steps all the way to the top of the mast. Let's go around to the back of the boat where I can show you the uh, dagger board system. You have two dagger boards, part, port and starboard on either side of the rudder. And uh, what's great about them is if you're heading upwind and pointing upwind, and you've got weather helm, if you put the leeward dagger board down, the way it's canted and angled, the leeward board is gonna pull your nose down as the weather helm pulls you up and it counters the effects of weather helm, which uh, is great for many reasons. One being if you're working with your autopilot, it takes a lot of the work out of your hydraulic system, also save you a great deal of power. Let's take a look down here at the uh, Darglow feathering prop, which is grease packed, polished, and has a new prop anode on it. It's a lovely prop. Moves the boat nicely. Seven knots. And stepping up onto the sugar scoop. You have your uh, wind pilot bracket here, step lockers, uh, swim ladder, which drops down into the holes there. Six person uh, life raft, very deep uh, step lockers here. And your uh, boreal arch davit system. fixed uh, solar panels. Let's take a look into the stern lazarette here. Bone dry, clean as a whistle. This uh, uh, plate comes out, but it has an opening here. Uh, here's your uh, rudder post with a square head on it, which takes the uh, emergency tiller should it ever be needed. Um, when this access cover comes off, you have uh, open access to the quadrant. And down here you can see the uh, piston and hydraulics for the autopilot. Behind this cover here is the Ebbesfasher diesel heater. Coming up the port side of the boat. I just pulled the tarps off, had the boat wrapped for the winter. I'm leaving this uh, bimini top up here for the time being. Uh, doghouse window covers are on. Lovely day. Be nice to be out on the water. Looking back at the boat. Take a peek down into the uh, 
forward sail locker, which has a, an air only vent on it. it. Keeps everything circulating and dry. Down here under the floorboards, which is also vented, you have uh, your access to the um, retractable bow thruster. Everything's super clean. Here's a uh, saltwater deck wash and chain, chain wash. Coming midships. Got these great granny bars here, which are really, really useful when you're working at the mast on passage. Oversized winches on the mast as well. Uh, down here, you've got the up haul and down haul for the center board. And when the board is up, you're drawing just over a meter, which allows you to tuck into all sorts of coves along your voyage. Oh, very strong gooseneck. Um, some, again, would say overbuilt. I would say just perfect for long distance cruising and adventure sailing. You've got mass steps all the way to the top of the mast. And uh, these are all your reefing lines, which of course, when the mainsail is up, they're tucked away. Let's come down here to the windlass and the chain locker, which of course is all central on the boat, uh, which brings all the weight with the, the fresh water tanks and the diesel tanks central to the boat makes for a very very steady ride and here you have um, foot controls for the windlass i like to use the remote control so i can be up at the front of the boat uh, dropping the hook and counting out the road as well coming down the starboard side lots of grab rails handholds very, very strong lifeline system. Very strong stanchions. Again, covers for the uh, doghouse windows. This is a Lumar 50. Serviced annually. A Lumar 54. Some nice uh, rear seating teak, both sides and a very comfortable backrest when you're uh, steering the boat. Great oversized wheel. Compass. Display for your NKE systems. Uh, this has got your uh, bow thruster controls. And this is for your uh, mirroring off your uh, chart plotter inside the boat so that you can do all of your work and nav navigation while sitting at port side steering and should you be on another tack you can be looking at it from this angle which I found extremely useful you've got uh, winch handle holders on both sides of the binnacle USB ports times two. A nice feature here, which is an organizer, a cup holder, etc. And um, here you have your winch handle holder for the e wincher. This is a nice, uh, a nice cover to tuck yourself in while under passage. Very, very comfortable. This is a Lumar 30 for your uh, boom van. Let's go inside. And here we have the doghouse. And I can tell you how nice it is to do your uh, navigation with your paper charts up here with a 360 degree view of where you are going and where you've come from. Once you're sealed in, it becomes super quiet inside. You feel very safe and secure. And 
she uh, VHF, your uh, remote for your autopilot, on off switches here for various instruments. Um, here you have a BNG Zeus uh, 12 inch MDF, MFD, excuse me, Iridium sat phone, and a single sideband for those who like to use it on passage. There's a view down below. Again, everything is in mint condition, showroom condition, as I will show you. Here is the salon. Lots of ceiling height. Lots of light. And a nice galley with a three burner gimbaled stove, of course two deep sinks. This is a nice feature which flips up, gives you more counter space. Everything is ash, very light colored, beautiful finishing work, woodwork, lovely curves and lines on the boat. And uh, yeah, the workmanship is, is extraordinary. Really, really nice. The salon table comes down drops down so you can have a very large um, sleeping area if you want to be close to the action. If you're solo sailing or sailing as a couple, you can be close to where the action is. Uh, let's take a look here at the uh, starboard rear double berth. Extra lighting comes with the boat. Uh, closet space, shelving, again, super clean, no mold, no mildew, no dirt. Chrome is highly polished and is in great shape. Coming around to the port, uh, double berth. Again, very spacious, very, very comfortable, lots of light, lots of airflow, should you wish. Um, great storage space. Again, both sides of the boat. Here you have, uh, and also you have radiant heat throughout um, all the cabins. Here's access, one access point to the engine room all of your mechanical and inverters, etc. Everything clean. The only thing I leave in here is the desiccant for winter storage. Salon seat uh, cushions have uh, covers on them for more protection. Um, over here we have, there's 12 volt plugs throughout the boat. Here's your uh, Maxwell remote for the, um, for the chain, for the windlass, uh, handheld remote for your VHF. And this is where you control your uh, Abbas Boucher heater, which makes the boat nice and toasty very quickly. Also, with the, added to the radiant heat, you have forced air heating in the both heads, midships and forward head, and also forced air heating down at your feet in the galley, which on cold days is a real treat. Yeah. Lots of storage again. Optional uh, uh, foot pedals for uh, fresh water and salt water. That's fresh and salt here. Yeah. Step down and uh, take a peek in the uh, bilge area. Again, super clean, super dry.
a deep chest fridge, which is highly efficient. And uh, unlike side door fridges, when you open this one, the cold air stays down, it doesn't spill out. And here we have the uh, forward cabin. Again. Below the beds are uh, uh, the um, bow thruster batteries and electronics. Here you have an ensuite bathroom. Radiant heat, of course, for the front berth. Uh, very nice teak uh, shower grates here. Pull out faucets for showers. There's also a cockpit shower, hot and cold cockpit shower. And there's your uh, heater for uh, forced air heating. Everything is nice and clean. And here you have your black water tank, which uh, is kept also very clean, very neat and dry. The uh, cockpit table is teak and was uh, custom built. And in here there is a further leaf for it. Uh, which I think you could sit at least eight people around the cockpit table when all the leaves are unfolded and added to it. Here's a view looking back into the salon and, and uh, galley. Here you have your Filippi, which gives you uh, your battery readings. Your house banks are right now 100% charged. Um, this is your starter battery. This side you've got... Uh, port and starboard uh, fresh water tanks, which of course are empty right now. A uh, pretty full tank of gas. Uh, gray water is empty and so is the black water. And then switches for various uh, of your mechanicals and lighting. And here you have your on off switches for the uh, windless for the engine, emerg emergency on-off switch, and your house batteries, which are on right now. And uh, somewhere to put your libations. Here's the other access point to the engine room. Locks into place. A little dark in there right now, but again, super clean. And uh, yeah, the boat is really ready to set sail whenever you are. Everything is in good working order. Drop this down. And there you have your tour of the boat inside and out. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, looking forward to hearing from you. This is me. Less important, of course, than the boat. <laughs> what a day. What a great day.